I'm Lori Forster, the wine coach, and I've made it my mission in life to demystify wine one glass at a time. And in my book, The Sipping Point, I explore the real essentials of wine in plain English with a sense of humor, with no scientific garble included. So today I thought in our first of series of videos, we'd talk about starting at the beginning, something people never tell you about in the wine world, how to properly open a bottle of wine. Here I have two different bottles, and the first being a bottle of wonderful rosé from St. Michael's Winery here in Maryland where I live. And I'm going to show you how to open this bottle with a waiter's corkscrew, or what we call a wine key. Now there are many different kinds of wine openers, and many of you may be fans of the screw pull or the rabbit, which I am as well. I have this at home, and I do use it. It's very easy and quick. But the thing about a waiter's corkscrew is that these can go everywhere. They fit in your pocket, they fit in your purse, and you can travel with them, whereas the you know, rabbits are not so portable. So it's always good to know how to open with this kind of wine opener. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do with, with a bottle of wine is to remove the foil cap. And some wineries will provide you this nice little lead that will just make that very easy. But the wonderful thing about the waiter's corkscrew is that it does include a knife, which is to be used for this process. So what you wanna do is score around the lower lip here of the foil, and you wanna do it around both sides. Officially in formal service, you're not to turn the bottle, but you know what, at home you can. <laughs> and once you've kind of really serrated that, then you can kind of try to lead it up and it will come off in one piece. And you can just discard that. And then what you wanna do is bring out the pigtail or the corkscrew as we call it. And the pointed end, you want to really center that in the bottle so that you get it right in the center, stick it in and then raise it up. And then screw that into the bottle until you just have, you're just seeing two of the little pigtails sticking out. I'm using a double hinge model, which I really like. And here you're using the first catch there to raise up the cork part of the way, and then you're raising up to the lower level to ease out. When you get all the cork almost out of the bottle, then you just wanna really use your hand to ease it out the final way. Okay, so. We have already uncorked our bottle of rosé. Then you can take your cork off. What's great about this kind of opener too is that it doesn't shred or destroy your cork. If you like to save these like me, or maybe even you know put a date and a event that you drank the wine at, you can have that. And that's it. That's all that's required in opening with a waiter's corkscrew. Now, of course, the next thing to do is to pour the wine in your glass. Hopefully, next time you open your bottle of wine with your waiter's corkscrew, it'll be as easy as one, two, 